Hi and welcome to a lecture on viral rhinitis. Viral rhinitis, also referred to as the common cold, is one of the most common infectious disease in humans. The infection is usually mild and improves without treatment. The common cold is an upper respiratory infection that is caused by a variety of viruses, the most common being the rhinoviruses which cause up to 40% of colds. The common cold causes a group of symptoms that are easily recognized by both patients and physicians. About 50% of patients will develop a sore throat which is often the first symptom to appear because it can occur as early as 10 hours after infection. Pharmacologic choices Decongestants Decongestants are used to relieve nasal congestion and improve rhinorrhea. They help most adults by improving nasal airflow. A single dose of decongestant is effective for the short-term relief of congestion in adults, but there is insufficient evidence to support their use in children under the age of 12 years. Antihistamines The anticholinergic effects of some first-generation antihistamines may reduce nasal secretions but there is no evidence in children or adults that the use of these agents improves recovery time from colds when used as monotherapy. In addition, the incidence of sedation is higher than with placebo for these medications. Vitamin C and D Daily supplementation of vitamin C is not effective in the prevention of colds in the general population but may be useful in those exposed to brief periods of extreme physical stress. However, daily supplementation of say 1 gram of vitamin C is associated with a reduction in the duration and possible severity of symptoms. Zinc lozenges appear to reduce the duration of the common cold by 1 to 1.5 days when initiated within 24 hours of symptom onset although this is based on low quality evidence and significant heterogeneity. It is difficult to make recommendations with respect to its dose and duration. Note here that zinc has an unpleasant taste and may cause nausea. With reference to antibiotics, it should be noted here that the use of antibiotics is not effective in the treatment of common cold in children or adults.